I always cook. Cooking in a kitchen is quite difficult. You have to really give yourself to it. You can't ever leave it. It's something, you know, it's like the mafia, you know, you, you, once you're in, you're in. This is a bream. They look sort of like a bass that's been squashed in a sort of circus mirror or something. Uh, I'm basically going to do three different dishes. One's going to be a restaurant dish, like a tricked out with textures and all that sort of stuff. One's going to be a simple, just come home, it'll take you five minutes to finish. And the other one's going to be more of a kind of sit down family affair. To be honest, if I had to eat one of these three dishes tonight, I had to cook it for somebody or I've had to cook it for myself because I'm alone, uh, <laughs> I would cook the whole bream because it's just... It's easy, it's quick, the flavours are simple and everything just sings on the plate. As opposed to, I think when you, you'll see the other dish, the Michelin-y dish, it basically looks very contrived. To me it feels contrived, so it's going to look contrived. The Michelin one will have a sense of like ticking boxes. It wasn't inevitable that I was going to go to the kitchens. I went to university, did a psychology degree, stayed on for a master's in ancient history, don't ask me why. Uh, and I think I quite enjoyed the daytime TV and bowling. Uh, and um, but what I did discover is that I could cook. So I, I stormed into the seafood and said to the head chef, "Sign me up as a commie." He put me next to a this Swiss guy. Dominic had just come out of a two-year stint in the army. He rode me so hard, and he was, he was relentless. Then one day the old man came in on the pass and was like, "Do you go for a beer?" And I was like, "Yeah, we'll go for a beer." And Dominic was sort of like, "How do you know him?" Is that me? And I was like, "I was my dad." And then the next day I came into work and there was like a chocolate cake on my section and I was like, Don, you don't have to do this, it's not necessary. Maybe it go a bit easy on me because I can't cook. <laughs> I like the outdoors, I like going out there, I like all the equipment, I like having everything brand new and, and sparkling. So this is Padsa Angling Centre, some of them a bit of a dream when it comes to fishing. Three ounce, three ounce, three ounce, there we go. I like to use different baits for myself, like baits that don't catch fish. A beginner's rig, you can either make them up yourself which I did, would do, but it's freezing outside and my hands don't work. Uh, do I need anything else? Yeah, I'm one for tangling stuff, I will say that. So you can have a fixed ledger where the, the ledger basically means that you're basically fishing off the bottom with a bait, basically. It means it's ledge, like, I don't know why they call it a ledger. I always think it's because it's like a ledge, but probably isn't. We're going to char grill some lettuce. And it's one of those things that I've been trying to get people to cook for a long time. I think my mum's had it maybe 150 times and only now has she said, oh, I saw that the other day, Jamie Oliver was doing it or something like that. You just put the rocket leaves down just like, as the French say, tac, 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 which just means put it where you, where you feel it should go. You don't think about it, you just sort of, you know. I didn't know what it meant. People kept saying it to me in this restaurant I was working, this three star in the south of France, and they just kept saying tac, 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 and I, was, I didn't know what they were talking about too far. I thought they were sort of insulting me in some way. So that's it. <laughs> I'm not a very competitive person, really. I don't really, you know, apart from like, you know, if my brother's trying to get the front seat in the car or something, that's slightly different. I'm 32 years old, I should get over that. I should drive myself. 